Hello, my name is Michael with Broad Hub, and we have released another new package that is a very exciting addition to our Cisco training collection with many plans and updates scheduled for the future. You can reference hundreds of quick sample Cisco configuration for many services and solutions in one comprehensive guide. This is the largest collaboration of CLI configuration in one place ever released on the internet. Our current packages in our collection focus on the details, design, and further explanation of the configuration. But the reference guide provides a quick method to access configuration to apply or use when needed. This is what we reference all the time for many configurations for our clients' networks today. Let's give you a preview on what you can expect in the reference guide, including how the structure works. So the configuration reference guide is broken down into categories for a more clean and organized structure to reference. You can view the table of contents, which is shown here, starts on page number five. Or we can view the main heading in the reference guide, which is shown here and starts on page number nine. Let's click here. Here you will see the current categories that reflects the following. You will see core network services, which consists of IP routing and LAN switching. Security services, which consists of Cisco IOS firewalls, so VPN tunnels. Tunneling services, which include MPLS, VRF Lite, and Layer 2 VPN technologies like VPLS. Voice and unified communications, which consists of SRST, Call Manager Express, even Cisco Unity Express. Wireless services for standalone Cisco access points. Hardware configuration for the Cisco ASA or even the PIX series. And configurations for the WAN and Internet Edge access connections. Again, these are categories that will constantly be added with additional configuration snippets. So, let's say we want to reference how to configure a VLAN. Well, we would do the following. We know that a VLAN is part of LAN switching, which is under core network services. So we can simply just click here. And here we can now go to LAN switching. Now we will see all the configuration that is available under LAN switching as of today. Again, this will constantly be added with new stuff that we'll be adding to it. So under VLAN, we can either click on VLAN to go to the main section for all configuration available for VLANs that are listed here. Or we can go right to that configuration that is listed here for quick, kind of for a quick kind of reference. So let's just keep it simple. Let's say we want to know how do I configure a VLAN. So we will click here, and here will be the actual configuration. You will see the configuration for adding a VLAN, including basic descriptions for reference, no details, and how this is configured. To go back or to move up to its parent level, you will see various markers like back or back to VLAN, which is shown here, for example. Which means if I click here, it will take me back to the main, to the sub section for a VLAN, where we see all the configuration available. Here, we can click on back to go back to LAN switching. If I click on back again, it will take me back up to core network services and so forth, back to the main heading. So that's how you can use the markers for navigating through various configurations and sections within this document. Now let's say that we want to configure EIGRP redistribution with another routing protocol like OSPF. Well, we would do the following. Again, we'll go back to core network services. We'll go to IP routing since EIGRP is part of an IP routing protocol. And then we'll go to EIGRP, which is a type of IGP protocol. Here we'll see all the available configuration that's available for EIGRP as of today. So let's say, again, redistribution. So let's click here. Here you'll see a network picture for reference, along with the configuration for one of the routers in the picture. So this will provide further information of how you can reference the configuration for, let's say, route redistribution and what that syntax looks like. Now, how about adding a new directory number or configuring single number reach for Cisco Call Manager Express? Again, we will do the following. So we will go back to the, so we'll keep moving back up to the section. So let's click here to go back. Let's go back up again, back again. 
And here, let's go to Voice and Unified Communications. Here, we want to configure something for Call Manager Express. So let's click on Call Manager Express. And here's all the configurations, quite a bit, that we configure on Cisco Call Manager Express. So we want to configure, let's say, single number reach. So we can locate that, which is shown here. When we click here, again, we will see that sample configuration that we can use and reference when needed. We do a lot of Cisco ASA configuration for our clients, but heavily through CLI and not through the ASDM, which is a lot faster and provide better tools for monitoring. We use this exact document all the time to reference the CLI syntax for such configuration for the ASA. So let's say we want to configure a site VPN to another location. Well, let's reference that configuration. Again, we'll click back to go to Call Manager Express, go back up again, and we want to access the security services. Let's click there. And we want to configure a VPN tunnel. Let's click here. So now under a IPsec VPN, we can configure um, various things for a Cisco iOS device, or a Git VPN, or a DM VPNs, or even SSL VPN on a Cisco iOS device. But what about a Cisco ASA that we talked about? Well, let's say we want to go back up again. And to do that, we'll go to hardware, where there's a particular section for the Cisco ASA 5500 using the OS 8.23. So we will tell you what OS that configuration is based on because the configuration will be different for the Cisco ASA. So let's click on hardware. Here, let's go to Cisco ASA. And you'll see all the available configuration available on the reference guide. So again, we want to focus on VPN tunnels. Let's go to VPN here, and there we see a site VPN, whether it's to an ASA or to an iOS router. It doesn't matter though. The configuration is pretty much the same. So let's click here. And so now you will see that actual configuration that we would apply. You'll see the network diagram for reference, and you'll see the configuration for the site one, which is shown here, and even the configuration for site number two. So very good information to use. Now let's go back to the Cisco ASA um, section. And now let's say we want to configure SSL VPN on the ASA. Well, very simple, we would just locate the SSL configuration, which is shown here as tunnel mode. So we'll click here and we'll see a network picture to reference follow with the configuration we can reference and apply it to your own particular network. And last, some of the configuration to reference in this guide maybe in the form of a solution, like VRF Lite being used on the LAN. Let's show what that looks like. So let's kind of go back up, let's click on back. And for that, let's go to tunneling services, which is shown here. Layer 3 VPN, which is where VRF Lite is listed under. And let's click on VRF Lite. Here you see a more advanced network picture followed by the configuration for each component in the diagram. So you see the configuration for the access switch, which is shown here. And you see other configuration in regards to the aggregation or the distribution, even to the core itself, to the firewall picture. So this will provide you other kind of configuration you can reference and use on the network. So these are some things you can reference in this configuration reference guide. Again, we have many plan updates scheduled, such as the Cisco Nexus 7000 and 5000 series, VSS for the Cisco Catalyst 6500. We will include basic IP services like NAT and SNMP to this guide. We'll be adding configuration for the ACE module, ACE appliance, Cisco CSS appliance for load balancing, and a whole lot more. We have hundreds of more configuration to add to our reference guide. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. To purchase the guide, you can either purchase the document without any subscription, or you can purchase it with a one-year subscription to get access to updates to the guide, which again is scheduled in our production plans. This is what we reference for, again, for many configurations for our clients' networks today. This is a great value add for any network engineer and consultant in networking. You can get more details about this guide at rodhub.net slash config. Thanks for watching.